हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ए टॉपिक ऑन लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यू माइट हैव गॉट द नॉलेज अबाउट द डी ऑपरेटर इन यूर अर्यर क्लासेस एज लाइक डी ऑपरेटर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ए वन मोर ऑपरेटर इट इज कॉल्ड एल ऑपरेटर and uh, as you know that d operator is useful in solving a linear differential equation with the constant coefficients as like that here l operator is also useful in solving a linear operator with the linear differential equation with the constant coefficients now as Uh, the d operator is useful in solving the differential equations in the same sense l operator has its as own uh, application also which is widely used in pure as well as applied mathematics in the engineering branch this is this plays the l operator plays a dominant role so we are going to study a very important uh, operator now it is called laplace operator and it is we are going to define it as laplace transformation and first it has given by name of mathematician laplace with the his name we are going to define laplace transformation it transforms as the name suggests that it transforms one function into another function now we will define what the what is laplace transform the definition of laplace transform is like this if you are given a function f of t see function f of t here t is a variable here or parameter here then laplace of this operator is defined as uh, we are going to denote laplace transform as in this form that here and it is defined as laplace of f of t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into that e to the power minus st into the given function f of t dt that always t is greater than or equal to 0 that so this is the definition of uh, laplace transform as we know that here d operator is a linear operator in the same sense laplace operator is also a linear operator in the sense here if we are given two functions here f1 of t and uh, f2 of t with the uh, constant c1 and c2 then laplace of uh, c1 into f of t plus c2 into f2 of t which we can write it as c1 into laplace of f1 of t plus c2 into laplace of f2 of t yes the same property you might have observed in your d operator also normally uh, keep it in your mind in the definition right hand side is a function of s we will denote that as f of s it is customary to write laplace transform either in this form or in this form therefore with this we can write it as f of s is equal to laplace of f of t that and it is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt yeah this is the definition of laplace transform now what we will do it is as in differentiation or d operator you have collected good number of uh, formulas or good number of standard uh, uh, trigonometric functions and exponential functions as you have taken it as a formula in the same manner with this definition we will collect now Uh, we will apply l operator on the exponential function the first formula will say it is 
लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्री फंक्शन सम एलिमेंट्री फंक्शन एलिमेंट्री फंक्शन यस नाउ वी विल फर्स्ट वी विल डिफाइन लैपलस ऑफ ई टू द पॉवर के टी दैट एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन now what is this how we can obtain with the help of definition so we have we have laplace of that laplace of see this is going to be the given function keep it in your mind here f of t is equal to e to the power kt so now i am going to apply to find the formula for working out the problem here i am now say zero to infinity as per the definition e to the power minus st into f of t out right what is f of t f of t is e to the power kt into dt and this you know that you are familiar how to uh, simplify this here now by your elementary knowledge you just uh, collect that here bases are same so minus so yes sir this is can write it as minus st plus kt for your knowledge sake now this is or you can simplify this as e to the power i am taking minus outside s minus k into say t is common there dt so now this is ready for integration now we will integrate what is the integral of this here you know that exponential function integration is exponential function itself e to the power x is e to the power x in the same sense here e to the power minus k t but along with this variable uh, this terms are there so that you are going to divide s minus k and this is going to be evaluated over the interval 0 to infinity so now this is equal to minus 1 by s minus k that and you are going to evaluate this apply the limit variable of integration now with respect to integration is with respect to t here so they are therefore you have to apply for the limit t here therefore it becomes e to the power minus s minus k into that is infinity that minus lower limit here e to the power minus s minus k into 0 that and this we can write it as here 1 by minus s minus k you can make it as negative as positive infinity into any term is infinity itself that here minus here Zero into any term is that here, so e to the power zero it becomes it is equal to one here. Now this is minus one by s yes minus k into that. You know that e to the power infinity e to the power infinity it is equal to that c infinity itself. So as we know that also one by e to the power infinity is equal to one by infinity that is equal to how much? It is equal to zero. you know that so therefore this term reduces to 0 minus it is 1 here therefore it is equal to what 1 by s minus k therefore now we have got uh, laplace of e to the power kt is equal to 1 by s minus k for s is greater than k here for s is greater than k so this is the first formula we have obtained thank you